Okay, the next uh, recipient is Mike Turnipseed, 1971 graduate of Delano High School. Uh, he realized even in high school that a lineman is seldom recognized, as many of you have said tonight. You know, linemen, I used to ask coach back after games, and it didn't make any difference that linemen are back. Who played well tonight? Well, you knew the answer, because every week was, everybody played well. <laughs> Do you want to pick a particular person? No, they all played well. So you, could, you had statistics on backfield men and quarterbacks and things, but you didn't have any statistics on the linemen. But no problem, they all played well. Uh, for his fellow linemen, he pointed to Delano's 42 to 24 win over Porterville in 1970 when Jeff Breck ran for five touchdowns. He carried the ball 12 times for 378 yards, averaging more than 30 yards per carry. After two years of JV football, Mike played varsity in 1969 and 70, was selected to the 1971 Kings Tulare All-Star football game that then was played in Visalia. He also wrestled for three seasons, played freshman baseball, competed three years in track, earned a block these white sweater and a lifetime pass to Delano High athletic events. They don't have white sweaters anymore, so if I said that to some kid at Delano High, they wouldn't have a clue. One time I told a class when I was subbing, I still sub, can you believe that? They, they're not even sure I can still walk. But anyway, <laughs> when I sub, I'll say, yeah, we used to take Reuters buses. And they all look at you like, what's that? Or I'd say the 1950 team, for example, went to the Valley Finals and they took eight Reuters buses. There's only a thousand kids in school, so I guess all of them were in Fresno. And when they took the adults, they had to be on a train because you could do things on the train that you couldn't do on the Reuters bus. And the train had a thousand people from Delano. And Chris, you said there was about 10,000 people in Delano then? I think it's closer to like 8,000, but anyway. They were all at the football game. Okay, Mike achieved eight semester honor roll, eight semester California Scholarship Federation at Delano High, selected to attend Boy State. He was an Interact Club president, took part in student council, campus life, and Block D. I think he studied in his spare time. In 1975, he graduated from UC Davis with a Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture and Economics. He played on an undefeated freshman football team, and he said his coach was Paul Hackett. Probably Mike and I are the only ones who knew Paul Hackett, but I think he was offensive coordinator for USC. And I, did he, Was he a professional head coach before we got canned? Anyway, he's well known. Um, he played on an undefeated freshman football team in 1994, completed the executive program in management from the Anderson Graduate School of Management at UCLA. Since 1975, he's been a self-employed business person participating in many businesses, uh, business, political, and civic projects. From 1975 to 2004, he was a partner in the family farming business. And from 1994 to the present, he's operated Michael Turnipseed and Associates, serving as a self-employed consultant specializing in government affairs and strategic planning. Uh, I see his name often in the Bakersfield newspaper, uh, commenting in his position as director of the Kern County Taxpayers Association. He was retained to be executive director of the association in March of 2005. 2009, he was named president of the association's education fund incorporated and Ac academy director of Kern Leaders Academy. Now you all know what those mean, right? I don't know, but they, if I was getting paid by the inch at the Delaney record, I'd be rich. Okay, he is current president of California League of Bond Oversight Committees, past chair of Kern's Board of Retirement, which oversees the Kern County Employee, Employee uh, Retirement Association, which is the county's pension fund and is a member of the Bakersfield Breakfast Rotary. His 40 years of participation in many civic groups include Delano High School Board of Trustees, Chairman of Governmental Review Council, the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, Executive Committee of Kern County Farm Bureau, Board of the California Farm Bureau Federation, member of the Advisory Committee of Kern's Permit Assistance Center. Kern County Fair Board and several water and clean air committees. He's been uh, in the Couples Against Cancer, the St. Francis School Foundation and Garces High Boosters Club. Michael and his wife Nancy have been married for 36 years. They have two grown daughters, Amy and Alyssa. Mike recalled uh, fond memories in sports, though he says his team did not win any championships. In 1969, the Tigers down east with a last minute goal line stand. And he credited, I didn't write it down, Alvin Shirley, and Alvin would be a good one because he weighed 300 pounds, and that was quite big at that time. They're not sure if he weighed 300 pounds. The scales only went to 300 pounds. 
Luis Perez Leon had an incredible game, but the real memory was the referee trying to stop band director John Page from playing three blind mice. He recalls that Mark Briggs made a great fourth down hit on a receiver who dropped the ball, but the official penalized Delano High 15 yards for pass interference, and he penalized the band 30 yards for unsportsmanlike conduct. With Mike on the offensive line that season were Andy Shockley, John Atwood, Charlie Medina, and Lawrence Torres. The five started as freshmen on the JVs in 1967 and finished together in 1970. He says, the five claimed something that no other Tiger has. They played four years for Coach Stahl and Coach Johnson. Said Mike, this is a quote, Coach Johnson loved riding on that seven-man sled. I had the opportunity to play for Coach Beck for two years of football and three years of wrestling. He was truly a great coach. Please come forward, Mike Turnipseed. that some of the great games we had, and then, you know, we, we played the game at East, which was number one in the Valley at the time, and the Menachee game, I was talking to Mark about that before the game. He said that was the only game he ever heard Coach Beck cuss. So I was, I didn't hear that, but uh, anyway, no, it was good to see Mark and Lawrence Ludy from our team. And the rest, as you can see, I wasn't a very good player with a lot of things because he had to fill in with everything else that I've done. But I appreciate the bio. I appreciate the association for selecting me. And I'll have the shortest speech of the night. If my wife Nancy will join me for the picture, thank you very much.